Are you a dairy producer? Or do you grow grapes, nuts, fruits, or vegetables? We have it all with American Vineyard, Pacific Nut Producer, California Fresh Fruit, California Dairy, and Vegetable West magazines. Subscribe for free now at malcomedia.com to stay current on the freshest news in your industry. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from the annual Grape, Nut, and Tree Fruit Expo at the Big Fresno Fairgrounds. Today we had a great lineup of speakers helping growers improve their vineyard management practices. One of them was George Schwang, the Viticulture Advisor for Fresno, and he shared what growers should be focusing on post-harvest. But I think the post-harvest irrigation can be a most critical if you have a deficit irrigation and you have a dry winter. That's probably you should think, really think about post-harvest irrigation. My point on my presentation today is really try to uh, uh, focus on the post-harvest irrigation and the post-harvest uh, nitrogen uh, fertilization. As we all know that the last uh, four years, I like, guess uh, since 2011 to 2014, we had a uh, four years uh, winter drought. So during those uh, dry winters, it's uh, very important to uh, apply the post-harvest irrigation uh, especially depends on your soil type, your uh, farming history, and your uh, uh, vine vigors uh, since uh, the beginning of the season. So it depends on different situation in your field. For example, if you have very sandy soil and you have a very weak vines, so probably you should think about like uh, put a post-harvest irrigation right after the harvest. So those water or the moisture in the soil gonna rehydrate the vines. So th the leaves on the vines after harvest still gonna be active to produce the carbohydrate and sugar. So all those uh, carbohydrate and nutrients gonna be in the trunk and the roots. All the reserve there gonna be uh, very uh, helpful for next year's uh, bud break. And also the next year's uh, canopy growth and eventually the yield. So it's gonna be very important to have uh, very active leaves after harvest to have all those uh, um, nutrients and carbohydrate for next year. So uh, if uh, growers are really struggling for the last uh, four years winter drought, and have, for example, you have a low canopy and have a low yield, so probably should think about the post-harvest irrigation this year. Well, we don't know what's the winter precipitation this year gonna be, but it will be really necessary if you have very sandy soil, very weak vine, and for example, you have a nematode damage, or you have some like uh, past uh, pressure in your field. So you, want, you don't want to stress the vines too much after harvest, so it will be uh, very important to uh, do the post-harvest uh, irrigation. Also, the uh, post-harvest uh, nitrogen application is another uh, important uh, uh, factor uh, growers should uh, think about. So uh, there are two best uh, timing to apply nitrogens. So first one is the spring, early spring to uh, early summer, and the uh, next uh, timing is uh, post-harvest. So uh, just double check your uh, farming history, your fertilizer history, your patio samples, especially during the bloom to uh, compare each year to see uh, what's the level of uh, nitrogen you have right now for your field. Then you can decide uh, how much nitrogen and the timing to apply. So, uh, but as I said, you know, uh, there are two best timings, spring and post-harvest. So if you have a really uh, uh, low vigor and you think you have a nitrogen deficiency in your field, uh, post-harvest is a good timing to apply a certain level of nitrogen back to your field to uh, make sure you have sustainable and good growth for next year uh, for both canopy and you. Thank you George. Read more about improving your vineyard management practices by reading American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.